Hey everyone, uh, in this video I want to cover a certain issue people have been having with ASIO for All. Um, only this isn't getting it working, this is after it works, why can't I play any Windows sounds? And I get this comment, I get people commenting this, they private message me this, I get personal emails about this. And I have been for over a year now, and I probably have over a hundred private messages about this exact issue. And basically, people want to play a backing track in a media player or YouTube and load up FL Studio and play along with their keyboard or whatever. And that's a perfect, perfectly reasonable thing to want to do. Um, and I'm, in this video, uh, I can't really show you how to do that easily. Uh, I more want to explain why you can't do it. Because if you hear someone just say, oh, it's impossible. And if you're like me, I usually, that doesn't sound credible. Like, they didn't do their research, they just tried it themselves quickly and failed. Um, only in this case, I I truly do think, as of right now, it is impossible. And I will clarify that. I started some research, and just like where everyone would start their research, I went to Wikipedia. And I want you to look at this line right here. It says, ASIO bypasses the normal audio path of a user application through layers of intermediary Windows operating system software so that an application connects directly to the sound card hardware. Each layer that is bypassed means a reduction in latency. Okay, so what's happening is there's software and then there's your hardware and then there's this thing called a driver that connects the two. And I made a picture here, because I like pictures, to demonstrate. Oh, let's uh, undo all that. Okay, this is basically the state of it. We have uh, the normal software wants to play a sound. So it tells the driver what sound to play. And the driver is able to control or drive, hence the name, it drives the hardware with instructions from the software, and that's what a driver does. Um, only in this case, this driver is doing so much processing, like it, uh, Wikipedia mentioned layers, um, there's so much layers, it passes it from one process to another, to another, to another, um, for certain reasons, I'm sure there's reasons, but uh, Windows just likes to know and understand everything the user's doing, often to its own detriment. But the end result is this adds some delay, especially when you're using like a USB device, because that adds a little more delay. Um, but for whatever reason, the accumulative effect is when you're in FL Studio, just using your primary sound driver, and you press a note on your MIDI keyboard, it can be up to a second before you even hear the note is completely unacceptable. So the only way to get around that is to skip the direct sound driver altogether. And like Wikipedia said, it allows the software to connect directly to the sound card hardware. So this is our ASIO software. We can say this is FL Studio and we're now connecting right to our speaker, much like you'd plug a guitar into an amp and we're skipping all this, which gives us great latency, but unfortunately, per the design, um, audio hardware in a computer can only accept one input at a time. So if we're using ASIO, unfortunately, we have to delete this connection altogether. And of course, the other way around, if we're playing some music or something, we have to delete that. It's uh, not the most useful thing, but it's unfortunately the reality, and we have to live with that. So I did some digging, and I found the manual to ASIO for All. And I looked at this. I want you to read this here. It says, Turn off system sounds. Sound effects in response to button clicks, notifications, etc. will mean that for the time they play, ASIO for all may be unable to initialize the audio device. And if you think about that, what, what they're saying there is that even in the circumstance that you do have both devices connected, 
only one can play sound at a time. That means if you have a song playing in VLC, you go to your audio device and it's active, and you run FL Studio and ASIO for All tells you that that device is available, it still wouldn't work because you'd go play on YouTube and then your keyboard wouldn't work because it's not both, it's either or. And that It's unfortunate. And I hope that clarifies things. It's not a matter of what button do I press to make it work. It's just I don't think it's possible. But at the beginning of the video I said I clarified and I said as of right now it's not possible because if you think about it um what if I don't know some programmer decided to do something like this. Oops. And what if we took that connection and put it here, and somehow made all window sounds go through SEO? I don't, <laughs> I don't know what the repercussions would be. Skipping this, but I mean that looks pretty good to me. So, like I said, the PC, I'm sure there's ways to do it because it's an open platform and pretty much the sky's the limit if you know what you're doing. But for the average user, this is you can't even think about doing this. So, I think I'm going to end with this. The only way I've actually figured out how to do this is unfortunately to get an entire new uh, audio device. Um, I don't know why that did that. I did. I said this in video three. If you have two audio devices, like here's my internal sound card and here is a USB headset. USB headsets have their own internal um, electronic... they act like another sound card. So then you can basically do this. You can have ASIO using one and you can have window sounds in the other. And then what I did was I basically coupled them together like so and then sent those to my external speakers. Uh, yeah, it's complicated and it's not very user-friendly for laptop users, but that is the only way I think it can be done right now. And if I'm wrong, please tell me in the comments. Um, I uh, am hotly anticipating someone giving me a solution to this because I don't think Microsoft's going to. <laughs> so uh, yeah, if you have any trouble with anything else, Leave comments, and I look forward to uh, making more videos. See ya.